Welcome back to A Pearl in Every Cowslip's Ear. We're teaching CLE's Language Arts 400, Book 4. It's recorded live, right in the classroom. So it's pretty raw. I hope you enjoy. Okay, fourth grade lesson six, finding fragments within paragraphs, doing a bit of review. What is the return address? The return address is like your address. Okay, the sender, the person who's sending it, it's their address. What message should be included in a thank you note? Uh, what? What, you... what should you put in a thank you note? Oh, what you, what you like about, about it. it. What you like about it and you think? No. what you might do with, do with it. What you might do with the, th the thing that was given. Let's look at the sentence. Henry will walk to school. What tense is it? Future. Future tense. Perfect. And let's diagram this one. Sean and young Kenny fish. What are the sub what's the subject? Sean and Kenny. Sean and Kenny. And the verb? Fish. Fish. So fish. Pork. Sean. Kenny. And it's young. John and young Kenny fished. Okay, fragments. Fragments are things that are not, groups of words that are not complete thoughts. We talk about, we talk in fragments sometimes. Uh, I, saw, I saw the leaves. Where were you? At the park. At the park isn't a complete sentence. It's just a little phrase. But at the park is the way we talk sometimes. But we should not write this way. We should not write with fragments. Everything that we write should be a sentence. It should express a complete thought. It should have a subject and a verb. And today's lesson is about being able to pick out fragments within a paragraph and fix them. Let's do number uh, two together, actually. Marshall could hardly wait for Monday morning. He had something to show his friends, a new bicycle. He hoped his friends would like it. What is the fragment in there? Could hardly wait. Marshall could hardly wait for Monday morning. That's a complete thought. A new bicycle. A new bicycle. That's a subject with no verb. And how could we make a new bicycle into a sentence? Marshall bought a new bicycle. Good. Marshall bought a new bicycle, or he had a new bicycle, or it was a new bicycle. Somehow make that little fragment, that in this case is just a subject, make it a complete sentence. All right, and there should be two of them that you find in number three. Let's go on to the spelling section. I want to read the spelling words to you, and you repeat them back to me. Arrow. Arrow. Attack. 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 Bear. 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 Bullet. Bullet. Deer. 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 Effort. Effort. Hound. Hound. Hunter. 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 Lion. Lion. Mount. 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 Raccoon. Raccoon. Stirrup. Stirrup. Sudden. Sudden. Thicket. Thicket. Track. Track. What is a stirrup? Like for uh, the horse, when you put your foot in so you don't want to fall off. Or Great. Think I can draw a horse? Uh, <laughs> Okay, there's my horse. Now, if you are on the horse, the one foot goes on the other side, then this foot comes down here. And there will be something hanging over the horse. Like this, that your foot sticks into. That's the stirrup. So that you have something to balance yourself on too. Yeah, you can kind of stand on them actually. You can yeah. maybe stand up. Actually, your foot doesn't really come down like that. Your foot more comes over like this than down here. And then right here will be the stirrup. If you put your little foot in. That's a better picture because your foot doesn't really come straight down off the horse. Your knees kind of go forward like that. And then if you wanted, you could stand up in the stirrups and lift yourself up out of the horse a little bit. That's what a stirrup is. Carry on, let's see where.